uh, okay, the next speaker is Rune Hansen from Sintef in Norway, and he will talk about ultrasound mediated diagnosis and treatment, a novel technology platform. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, yes, so I am from the Norwegian uh, nonprofit research institute Sintef, and I will tell you briefly about this. Um, new technology platform that we are currently developing. So uh, this platform has uh, three main elements. Uh, we have multifunctional nanoparticles, which can uh, encapsulate drugs or contrast agents for imaging. And then in a second step, these nanoparticles can stabilize gas microbubbles. And then we apply a novel ultrasound technology for improved diagnosis and uh, local drug delivery. Currently, the actors are Sintef and the Norwegian uh, University of Science and Technology. Uh, but we would like to take this uh, technology platform into a transnational research project, for example, in Horizon or Euronanomen. Uh, so the nanoparticles have typically a size between 80 and 200 nanometers, can be slightly tuned. making, uh, uh, it's a, it's a one-step synthesis of polymeric nanoparticles with a PEG corona, and the PEG uh, uh, interacts or reacts with the monomer and initiates the polymerization. Uh, and uh, so uh, these particles uh, are biodegradable, biocompatible, and the degradation time can be tuned by choosing the length of the alkyl chain, and uh, we have a high drug loading capacity with these nanoparticles. We have encapsulated the cytotoxic drugs, for example, docetaxel, uh, fluorescent dyes, MRI contrast agents, and we can um, modifice, uh, modify the surface to attach the ligands for uh, targeting biomarkers or for attaching ligands to to, to put on uh, tracers for PET agents. And then in the second step, we use these uh, nanoparticles to stabilize the microbubbles. So we have a combined nanoparticle microbubble system, which is uh, interesting. And when injected intravenously, the microbubbles, which are typically a few microns in size, will stay in the blood circulation. And they are very powerful as a ultrasound contrast agent, and they can also be used uh, therapeutically. Uh, for instance, uh, imaging uh, tissue perfusion or neoangiogenesis. And when we increase the ultrasound energy, we can destroy the micro microbubbles uh, locally, and we then release the nanoparticles, which are making up the shell of the, of the microbubbles. So typically, a microbubble is carrying a few thousand nanoparticles, so we get a local, very high concentration of nanoparticles. And these nanoparticles can then uh, go out into the extravascular compartment. And then we develop a new ultrasound technology for better imaging the microbubbles and for drug delivery. We have one project, oh, sorry, uh, where we're working with the reversible opening of the blood-brain barrier using these microbubbles nanoparticles. And we're developing a new in vivo inflammation model for tissue inflammation, where we have interesting biomarkers. And we can also use this model for uh, therapeutical applications. So it's a technology platform based on polymeric nanoparticles for improved diagnosis and drug delivery. Yes, easy one-step uh, production process can be upscaled. And we're seeking partners with expertise within drugs uh, biomarkers for targeting, toxicity, biocompatibility, and clinical expert fees. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm now calling uh, Karin Potsma, um, Potsma from the University of Twente in the Netherlands. The floor is yours. Awesome. 